How we doing, guys? Welcome back. So, we uh, made it through last night relatively intact. I think they only really checked a wall here or there, but nothing too much to really go on about there. We did get rather unfortunate that none of the corpse piles spawned any item ones. That's a bit of a bummer, but other than that, we're doing pretty okay so far. So, first let's just go through the unlocks. I'm curious what this one actually... Okay. Different sword types. Nothing amazing to worry about. We we'll probably might not even see them, but hey. <laughs> upgrades are upgrades. The final one of these will definitely be helpful because we're just about to start. Ah, and then it unlocks another tier. Okay. So we've still got more to go on that, so that means we're saving this. Makes that choice remarkably easy. Levels. We'll go through these first and then we'll worry about the rest of it. You. None of those are helpful in any way, shape, or form. So, reroll there. Are you the mana? She's the one who lacks mana. This is still a good. It's a question of do I want to spend the final reroll because there's obviously chances I can get worse. I think at this point it's worth it. Yeah, damage is just better. Damage is better than mana. Even though the mana stacking thing, it, it, just, it just works out better. I mean, I guess opportunism. None of the rest of these actually matter at all to a book wielder. And then perks. Blink could be a thing. That, however, changes... I do have to remember now this. This changes how the actual uh, spell works. Because it now goes diagonally. So that is something I'm going to have to remember. We do have a diagonal book wielder. Because that will change the pathing, obviously. Um, you are... Crit and then... Flexibility is a potential. I don't think going this now is worth it. So I think going flexibility and looking out for maybe... Um, orb. Cross... Uh, orb or book or something along those lines. I don't want to really particularly go book, but... Uh, we'll see how it goes. Depends what we get. He probably is going to pick up this as well. He'll be my anti-resist guy. Could pick up this... But, again, unlikely to actually really matter. So I think it's worth one reroll. That's probably better overall. And then that is insane. <laughs> Not even going to question that one. Just keep going. Okay. You are poison slash berserk. Okay. I mean, you're stacking health, aren't you? Well, you're stacking part health. Health regen's his main thing. He's not quite as good as the other tank, but can't have everything, can we? Uh, I think resist is actually more worth it, though, at this point. Just making him tanky enough to live through it, that turns into armor, so that helps out on that front as well. I mean, that's good. Doesn't have spike counter. This isn't as amazing as it probably should be. That helps out a bit, but I think even that's probably better. Just the turning attack unblockable has far more implications than I think it's really set out to be here. So we'll grab that. It just means that he might be able to deal with some of the tankier elites that come along later. You are pure sniper? Pure sniper. Not really a choice there, so I'm okay picking that up first could possibly look for something else. Damage is definitely worth it, but there's many other options that could be better. That's actually worth something. If it was on a book wielder, it wouldn't be as much, but it's definitely worth something there. Crit power is a thing. We don't quite have enough crit for me to be happy with it yet, but I guess items could solve that. This is Berserker with Spiky Block, yes? Yeah. So you pick... The, she, she wants this one as well. She, she, she wants a lot of things, I'll be honest. That's the problem. Like, there's a lot of... Uh, I mean, this one probably not, because that's at the end. Oh, no, because that gives you health regen at the end. Of, uh. There's a lot of options with this build. This one's the primary one, because that means Spiky Block does more. And then probably this one... Because it just converts it all into, and you do health on her. She doesn't have, this is the thing about this, she doesn't have double health stacking because this one would have to be uh, 
health damage one. So that is something to consider. I'm moving away from poison on this type of build because the scythes are resistant to it at the end. Like, it's just not worth it. That could be something. But we'd need a sword to make that work. So for now, I'm okay picking that up. Because that just turns into damage and health and all sorts. Okay, so with that in mind, this turns into health. What's the conversion rate? Four times mana into health. So that would be 60 health. Which then turns into... Less than, like, 5% damage. Okay. Probably looking at block. And I think I'll take a green block. It's not worth very rolling if it's green already. What's the conversion on our... <laughs> uh, 150. So that's a lot of health. But movement points is actually quite valuable as well. Actually, I think that ends up at about 60 as well. Yeah, screw it, I'll pick this up. Just stack health to the unforeseen like levels of death. Physical damage is definitely a thing. Health, we are going to need to heal, but I don't know whether it's worth it yet. I'll reroll it once. That's probably better, but we have enough to burn another reroll. We'll pick up a basic fizz damage and just leave it for the next one. We are looking to pick up momentum, but I think maxing fizz damage for the axe is probably more worth it right now. And then hybrid crit, hybrid crit. Okay, so grab that. Grab that. And that just maximizes that. We could have gone for like the chain build, but we need hand crossbows to make that work. It, it's not as good as you'd think it would be. Accuracy is definitely a thing. Crit is definitely a thing. Accuracy is easier to get in other places. Like right here. <laughs> Could have gone mana. There's a whole bunch of good ones there. None of them were particularly bad. It's just... You've got to make a choice somewhere. I mean, again, that's typically better with hand crossbows than an upgraded book. But it's not like any of the others are better options. And lightning is going to be used as points at some point. Which, uh, I mean, there's this or this. I could reroll, try and get a blue of something, but I don't know what I'd go for that's going to be better than a guaranteed propagation bounce. I guess I could go crit power. Uh... Yeah, I'll go crit power. Crit will be used on both weapons. Propagation's only going to be useful on one the way we're doing it, so... It's not really an advantage to rush it. Max out that first before we do anything. I'm not entirely sure whether items generated afterwards would affect it, but it's worth just doing just so it's done and we don't have to worry about saving money for something else. We do have plenty of workers and not a lot to spend them on because we didn't get corpses with items, which is a bit of a letdown, but I guess we can max out the monies first and then worry about it later. So, that's all done, that's all done. Could upgrade this. We are starting to burn a bit of mana, but it's only on the mages. So it'd actually make more sense maybe to just upgrade the free uses and build another mana shrine and upgrade that. See what our options are first. Definitely want to consider a seer, because the mist is really close right now and it's a little too close to my liking. Don't necessarily need the seer for later on though, so it can actually go on like an outer edge. Where it'll get destroyed, but who cares, it's a seer. I'd rather have like another production building here. So we can do that and push. That leaves us two workers left and 100 gold. Might save the gold for this. But let's go through the items first. I mean, that's not bad. That's kind of meh. Warp Crystal, as good as it is, not going to compare to rifles and stuff, which we need upgrading. Uh, can we... Let me just... 
because you're i have to figure out who's got what so you've got a rifle three you've got a rifle one right so the rifle's definitely worth picking up okay swords not that type of sword that's interesting that not so much could re-roll here we do have to re-roll somewhere sure and one more time <laughs> dagger's interesting dagger has potential if nothing else it can go on the unarmed um, slot of the person with the shield at the moment both rifles are free so this isn't a consideration pistols not really worth it bow eh. i mean i guess that could go in the hands of one of the tanks and just be a way of moving it's not a terrible use for it alternative is get there uh, the crossbow is going to be better so we'll forget that one this needs to be good though this isn't bad, but I don't like its short range. And then, yeah, because we do have a hybrid to worry about. Perhaps this in the hand, because this has momentum. Perhaps this in the hands of one of the tanks. It also gives movement speed, so it actually solves a few problems. At least out of the options there, it was better. That's an instant pickup. I'm not even going to think about that one. So... You do need a main hand weapon. Choices are this, this, or this. In terms of movement, I'm pretty sure... Do, do you have any specialized damage? You have slightly higher fizz. But the majority of your damage doesn't really matter. Her problem is she doesn't have single target. And she does have how much momentum stacking do you have do you have any does it tell me six barely barely worth noting and you don't have poison points so might save that for someone else probably give her the scepter for now just movement and it has some single target in the bash also the ability because it's magic to go through resist so also a thing worth considering uh the dagger could we put that over here, maybe? Because you do have some of the poison stuff. And applying contagion. So that's probably more useful on you. Might look out for a shield. This ain't quite worth it yet. I think we can get away with it for one and one night. This, I guess, we could give it to the hybrid. But I think the pistol, uh, the crossbow's better. So I'm probably going to ignore it. Are you the special? Right, so we've got to remember who's what. So you're the hybrid. Hybrid can make more use of the extra action point because they've got more basic attacks. And then you have the sh terrible uh, that, so that's fine. Have that as a reserve. Probably not going to use it. I assume both tanks have better helmets than that, so that can go there. Quick look in the shop, see if there's anything to solve our issues here offhand pistol is a thing i guess but it's not terribly great or needed right now that could be interesting yeah i'm not seeing anything that's like god tier I mean, they can be sold might refresh once try and get because we upgraded since this generated so might just get better items Ooh, even though it's only a two, that's still tempting. Hmm. Other than that, nothing screaming at me. And it's not a bad helmet, I guess. I guess we'll pick that up. Just because the way swords work tends to outscale. So we can swap that over and sell that. That's worth more sold than the sword. So we can sell that. And then... That shield, that's going to be useful at somewhere. It doesn't particularly matter where, but I think it's on you. Yeah. So that there 
This can probably go on the other tank because I can't imagine he's got particularly... Eh, no, he has a decent one. It's more about just making sure we get the isolation is going to matter on a rifle, of course. So that's fine. So I didn't get quite get as much done as I wanted, but we did at least get some upgrades. Ooh, skill range. Uh, skill range with the minus move point basically negates itself. Do we have good trousers on anyone? Because there's a set of trousers we can buy. We have terrible trousers all around, so that's... At least something we can buy. Don't particularly want that on the dodge tank, though. Oh, on the block tank, though. I want it on this tank. This also solves the accuracy problem somewhat. Okay. We'll keep this around just for the last night. That's all it's going to be used for. Other than that, still have two workers left. Could use it to just produce an item. If we really want. I do still need a better book. So I'm tempted, like, because this guy's, is it you? Or is it the other one? They're both running around with terrible books, bottom of the story. Like, yeah. So I'm going to try this. It probably isn't likely to work, but we've got nothing better to use those workers on anyway. I mean, that is going to be, like, uh, just to show you how much that will change things. Where's my one book? I think it's you. That, that's a good, what, 30 to maybe, like, 50 plus percent damage? It practically doubles the damage if you read Shadow Bolt. So, yeah, that that's going to make a huge difference. There's no one denying that fact. Um, sorry, overstating that fact. That's how the saying goes. Anyway, that's the workers used, at least. We probably will get a bunch more. I'd love to have gotten these upgrades so they made two every day, but that's so much money we were never going to do it tonight. As for the rest of it, let's get the walls up quick. Uh, everything has, well, mostly, I think there were a couple of spots where I missed it, but at least there's a solid wall all the way around. Probably need that spot there and that spot there. That, obviously, I still need to replace, but I'll wait for it to... Maybe an orb will spawn and I'll be able to blow it up, but for the moment, I'm not messing around with it. I'd rather upgrade the walls themselves. I do want to get a couple more of these down. Because the final night, getting people in the right positions matters a lot. A little annoyed I put that there now, but I guess I could tuck it in. Because it's going to be hard. If I put it there, it basically blocks itself off. I guess I could try point it. That might work better than maybe four, because my original idea was to do it like across like a, this. But maybe if you put one here and one here, you can jump to relatively good position. Maybe this one should have been a bit higher up, but then you block them from that building. And then that at least solves some of the issues. Question is, do we upgrade to stone walls or do we put more defenses down? To be honest, I'm not looking at catapults. Catapults do so little damage later on, they, like, even using both activations, will never actually clear a wave. They'll weaken it, sure, but you're not killed the wave, so you still need then someone to come over and help it. It's uh, messy. It's messy. I'll put it that, I'll put it down as messy. Could upgrade all of these. Probably worth upgrading some of these if we're upgrading stone walls. So let's give them all mounted for now, and then we'll make, like, the fronts um, stone. We'll go to it from that angle. Or at least the fronts in front of the ones we're keeping. Something like this. Obviously, you won't be able to do it all of them, but... Which ones are getting hit hardest, actually? Here. So, something like... That. It's probably the best we're going to do. Assuming I can't put anything else down. Slow traps are never worth it. Just forget about them. They don't exist. Have that to worry about. Which one have you used the mana stacker? You. Okay. Put that there. Again, possibly could have looked to upgrade that, but money worked out better this way. Uh, other than that, I think we're good. So let's get this uh, positions, positions, positions. This lot are all going to group up on the corpses. 
there aren't many choke points on the map layout the way things have spawned so i'm gonna have you up here because that's gonna get hit hardest you here kind of you there and you there and then the rifle is in the offset positions obviously the rifle's problem at the moment is actually getting around the stone walls we just put in so i'm trying to avoid putting them near that so maybe that way around yeah something like that oh i don't think it'll particularly matter at least not in fine detail as long as they're in decent positions uh, you need to be further back, you need to be further forward because of the way spiky block works. Okay, let's get this started then. Hello again. Now, in this mode, I think she's just a buffer. I don't know. I can't remember if she does the orbs at this point. I think it's the other one that does the orbs. But the blisters don't do much, but killing a runner at the start each time is not nothing. Because that's two extra action points you don't have to use. He's not going to change the world, but it might make slight difference. Um, okay, let's start with the obvious one, which is you. Axe is still better than the sword just for damage purposes, so... Wait, what does this have? Dodge. Not the most relevant. That's probably one of the weaker elites. If it's just got dodge. So I'm not that bothered by it, but it is a spli uh, splitter, so it does do quite high damage. Could definitely stack up momentum and try for that approach on this. See, that does... Huge amounts of damage. Just trying to debate what I do with the rest of my movement then. Because it's all well and good investing into killing this guy, but I do have to do something else afterwards. Maybe this, this. Stab him again. Don't really want to do that, so I guess just killing him the old-fashioned way is probably best. Knowing we ended up there... But I think uh, maybe something like through there, through there. Armor and step there. That should encourage somebody to hit you at least. Right, you. Any other elites to worry about yet? No. Can I just double check? So she does the sword. Not a big deal buff not a big deal well it, it, these two matter a lot but there's nothing i can do about them because they are map wide and etc so and then teleports so there's no bombs there's no execute just don't be near her because you're gonna get stunned okay do have to remind myself exactly what each bo boss does because i think that's the key to the final night is understanding what boss you're dealing with at what point so the bombs i think getting through the bomb boss is far more important than killing um, her. Like, admittedly, obviously, the longer you leave her, the more buffs she's going to get out, but it's not going to break you. Like, the bomb's just blowing your walls apart, Will. Okay. Um, you're not the diag... No. Although you could have picked up the diagonal one. You're not the one with diagonal jumping. Maybe you should have given the, the upgraded tome to the other one, then. Because of how that'll work, but hey. Live and learn for later. Get rid of them. We can be a bit more mana hungry now. It's not going to make the hugest of differences. I should be switching these. I'm forgetting that we've now got flexibility on multiple people. It's very important that you make use of that if you picked it up, because otherwise it's a complete waste. Uh. I guess try and kill a hopper. That's not so much of a danger. Never mind, it died anyway. Missed that, whatever. I was debating between those two, but it kind of solved itself. You! Uh, do you have a dagger now? Daggers are quite good. Dagger's going to be pretty good for this. Uh, do you have to position right, though? Here, we'll work on this side first and aim to head over there later. 
So maybe something like this. And then we can like... This is why daggers are good. They have the ranged option despite being physical. That is their only good part. Everything else is a bit... I mean, I guess if you're crit heavy and isolation based, you can definitely make use of it. But it's not... It's not quite sword levels of, haha, look at this gun go. It's just going to kill everyone. Okay. Nothing to worry about up here. And then, yeah, just pick up whatever. Do have to. I do want to get that guy early because he can be problematic. I guess we could just start building up on the little guys. just wanted to get him isolated so I could hit him harder. Okay. Not the greatest, but hey, it could be worse. There. Gonna burn a little bit of a mana to get the crit up, but hopefully it won't matter too much. Do have a guy there to worry about. Just start working on him. Not quite worth investing the lightning yet. And we are trying to just get Rifty going. So. Do I want him alive? It's a case of killing him off or just taking someone else. Don't think there's anyone else particularly worth killing in range. And those guys can be problematic later. Okay. Oh, she does do the orbs. Okay. Strange it doesn't list, list it as an ability then, but... In which case, it. In which case, this boss is probably more important to get through first if they both do orbs. But hey, can't have everything. Another elite in the top left, and another one there. So there's quite a few top. Top's definitely getting hit the hardest. Bottom's getting there, but without the elites to back it up, I don't see this being a particularly big threat. Might just have to shift people up there. Okay, energetic bulky, that needs to die. Um. <laughs> Alright, time to test the builds out a little, because this is where they're going to matter a lot. Um, is there anywhere worth lightning? Because that's question one. What are we, on? we are on the magic one, so that needs to happen first. I, I could just lightning, like, the back of here. Like, hop over and do that. That's not a terrible plan, because that's guaranteed to at least get some bounces going. Oh, it's blocked by that. Um, It's not worth doing here. It's not worth doing there. My worry is this lightning there is just going to bounce to that guy. Yeah, but I still think that's the best plan. Uh, actually, it's better there. It has more chances of going the right way. Did something. It's not, like, perfect, but it was at least worth the mana investment. for Because this might all about trying to keep it under control, essentially. Drop you, try drop you. Didn't quite get him, but close enough that'll finish him. Not particularly worried about that front. Need to keep this side under control more. I'll die to blister, that's fine. That's outside the wall, but it'll blow up the wall if I hit it, so that's a problem there. You. Well, I kind of want you to shuffle that way, but that's going to be hard to manage. This is where skill range would have been very useful. Just really ramp up the over, the, the momentum. Just try and cut through this guy. And then... Is that going to be useful anywhere? That there looks good. So we, maybe we can manage that in a minute. 
a step for him. And then can we go from there that way? Do we not have line of sight? I don't think we have line of sight. That's the problem. That, that works. And then... One step zap. At least just cuts down the numbers. It's not the most dangerous, but hey, nothing really is at this point. Risky leaving him there, but he should have enough block that he's not going to care. Even if he gets stunned, he'll still kill a whole bunch of them. This is a problem, though, as is this. So we'll probably pop the damage. This is why I probably should have left... Um, her with the tier 5 book, but See, the lightning here could go anywhere because we now have the um, diagonal trait. So, I mean, you zap there and it's just going to go wherever. I have no control over it, but there's nothing really. I mean, I guess you pop this first just to get Thrifty going. But I have no idea where this is going to end up. Wasn't terrible, but again, on a tier 5 book that probably kills the whole lot of them. Which would have been far more valuable. Debating going a bit more mana hungry, but don't really have time for it if I want to get over here and help as well. Okay, that'll have to do there. You need to start working your way through them. Little ones... This is where being especially can really help, but we don't have that option right now. Can you... Uh, you'd have to hop the wall there. Could hop the wall there, that works. Like just to get fireball out, essentially. Locked to my line of sight. There is good, though. And then drop him, and we can leave him. Get back inside. We teleport over there if we need to. That's the whole point I've left him there, but it's not going to be the most critical thing. You. And that's got high dodge, so make sure that dies. This should all clear itself up relatively well. I guess head around here. The problem with Mantle Blisters, they also block line of sight for your own guys, so... It gets a bit tricky at times. We do need to burn some mana in order to make use of this guy. So, where are we dropping this? That there seems good enough. Because I could also have this guy and just like do a mass teleport strat up here. It's not the most terrible idea. I'd like to do it now. Is it in range? It's not got line of sight on it, which is annoying. But... Can drop him, can drop any guy, it doesn't really matter. Okay, last one left is you. Do you have any good options? Kind of need you to reinforce this ride, but you also need to clear up here. This is the thing, like, trying to balance where I hit is probably going to be the most hard part of this night, because, again, this night isn't necessarily about surviving it. We know we can survive it. This night is about managing how much damage we take, because it's going to take a lot. It's like, I could invest this here. I don't know whether it'd be worth it, though. Actually, that lore are all going to die to poison, so it's not worth it now. Is there a better place I could stand, though? Not with the movement we've got left. So yeah, staying there is fine. I think that's everyone. Can we move you a bit to be useful? Being there is useful helping out on this side, but it blocks helping here and there's no real defender here. So I'm going to put you there and we'll end up there next turn if we have to. This is going to be the problem area. Those bombs, uh, they don't really do anything. It's not the biggest deal. Okay, she teleports, that's fine. 
As long as she doesn't land on a tank, where she is, is actually pretty much irrelevant. Because obviously then the tank would have to move. So, do I get stunned? No. Doesn't seem like it. Which I guess is fine. Yeah, they're slowly making their way to the wall. This is why I pushed the um, mist back a little. Because I was trying to minimise the amount of damage they could do. Okay. That needs to die. Pop berserk. Go bloody nuts. Gonna do him first. Try and isolate it. Then kill it. How much block do you have? 72, so unblockables are going to matter. But he doesn't have an ability to turn it in block unblockable. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? It's a bit of a waste technically, but it helps out a lot in the long run. Do that a few times and then stab him again. Can we do that anywhere to be helpful? Doesn't look like it. Pop that tank up and just stab him one more time to be good measure. Okay. So now we need the unblockables. I guess there's the space where we don't... Yeah. So his dodge is fairly low, so this should be a guaranteed hit, but... We are going to have to sink stuff into him. Just to get through that bloody block of his. This is why that trait that makes unblockable is really good. Do I have any way around that? Don't think I do. So he might still be alive at the end turn, which would be annoying. Okay, lightning, that is a terrible idea. Because that does so much damage to the walls, and most of them would probably die to a fireball anyway. In fact, there might just be a piercing shot there. But getting there is going to be tricky. That's two, that's three. I guess that makes more sense. Of course it misses. <laughs> Don't know what I was expecting. Always going to miss when you try to hit that many dodges. And then I guess just... I mean, the ballistas should deal with some of them. It's just trying to make sure they don't overwhelm that point while we're defending. There's not a huge amount of threat on this side. Like, this is the main threat, so... Technically, making sure it dies would be the priority. How much... We have just lack 12% on you, and then they've got 25% dodge. There shouldn't be this many dodges, but. Uh, what do I know? There we go. We're finally getting rid of them. Get rid of that guy. This should die to blister soon enough. It's not the big deal to focus it right now. Okay, you. Do I want to just pump? I mean, per an action point, this is better. Are you debuffed? Did we debuff you with anything? I don't think we did. That's annoying. Because that would be where this would come in most useful. But I think... Dropping him low enough would be good. Might get you to help out over there. Lightning again. Not the most obvious where it would go. Maybe here? Because we've now got to remember it can do diagonals. This is also possible. It just turns it into a bit more of a chess game, doesn't it? Do this twice to get Thrifty up. I would love to make sure he dies. But he's stunned, so it's not the biggest deal to killing him now. This. We either drop it here or we drop it, like, here. Maybe move you around in a bit. Don't think we can get it into range where it'll hit like here. This is where I'd love it. Let me just test that theory though. Can't get it that way. Can't get it that way. Okay. So it is going here. This is all buffed with armor. And that lasts one turn. And so is that though. Okay. So I don't think this is going to kill either. Which makes it problematic. Okay, I killed enough of them. I think it was warranted. This I'll finish off next turn, so let's not worry about that right now. 
kill that thing. Kill that. It's got a high lot of armor, actually. Probably wasn't worth killing this one, but... Okay. So you get back into position there, you'll be fine. You... I really need you over here. Blowing these up is not worth it at all. So, yeah. How do we get through there is the question. There's not a threat here. There's not a threat here, really. This is sorting itself in the long run. I guess do this guy first, see what's left here, and then we'll figure out what he's doing. So this is Pistol Fort. Pistol Fort does quite a lot if you can build up momentum. So we might be able to do a single good shot at the end of the turn. Do... Uh, we didn't get him flexibility is the problem. He was really looking for like a wand or something. But I guess we could, just, we could technically stack it with this one more time, but... Uh, it's not going to be the most useful of traits. So let's just get started. Snap that there. That's going to... It's not worth putting a rifle round into that. That might be something. Okay, that was worth it. I guess just a pistol shot there to kill that. Help out up here? Yeah, help out up here. So what does more damage? One, five. It's got an accurate on it, but I guess if we build up momentum, this is better. This, get, putting him outside the walls does nothing. Like this combined with this is hilarious, but it's not worth it doing it right now. So let's just build up momentum. And then whatever we hit with this dies. Okay. You are now just playing a game of clear this section up. Probably want to kill the bits that are going to go through those bombs because they'll be annoying to get later. So, how do we go about that? This here, stab. Do you have the option of just going nuts with the knives? Which isn't a terrible option right now. Even if it doesn't kill it initially, the poison will do its job. Not so bothered about these two. They ain't doing anything over there. So that there. Pop that just to get the extra movement to go here and then do that. Good enough. Like, we've cleared up a lot of the problem now. This isn't getting overrun. That's stuck. This is going to be the problem area for a bit. But it will hopefully all run into her and just melt. She does have poison, but she's also going to gain a lot of health. And spiky block should get to the point where it's just going to murder everyone. Um, so this area needs sorting. This area needs sorting. This area needs sorting, right? Poison's doing its thing over there. Like, poison's really good for this particular bit of holding the waves. But... On the last night, it's a little too slow. It's the same problem you have in Chaos Gate. The damage over time effect, like, it does it better than Chaos Gate because it happens at the start of their turn, but it's still going to have the same problem of it doesn't kill it instantly. Unless you stack it, like, really high. But then you probably could have got the same damage somewhere else. Okay. So... Need to get this guy doing useful things. Choppy there. Do have to go for all this guy's armor again, but that shouldn't take terribly long. Okay, so can we do more with your axe than we can with the sword? We could just do that. How much block do you have? Not a huge amount. Okay, I'm going to do this just to guarantee it dies. Probably a bit overkill, but I need it dead. This area is still not hugely under threat, so this guy can help clear this side. Probably focus the full health ones first, but... Could go there. That helps clear this area. You go there. I'm just trying to figure out where everyone goes before I commit people. Probably this is probably best. Okay, good enough. 
And then you. Again, there's nothing really threatening the wall here. This bit's a bit of an issue. But he's going to come back. Like, this side's actually died out. There's nothing here. So, I think this is another night where it's huge first wave. And then from now, because we're now at halfway point, there's going to be another huge wave coming in. So, we need to clear up this by the time the second wave arrives. Which means getting everyone off our damn walls is the priority. Uh, can't quite get a power bot on that guy. So I guess kill that thing. That'll die to a ballista. This will die to a ballista? Like, as so much as I want the experience, if it's dead to a ballista at this point, I'm far more bothered about getting to places where I'm useful. What's the radius on your thing? Much outside the walls. So as long as she's inside the wall, uh, he's inside the walls, he'll be fine. Get them off the damn walls. Fireball, probably worth it. And then that there. Cleared up enough that it, this side's not going to take huge amount of damage. I think the main damage on the walls is here and here. Again, these two aren't a huge threat. I'd rather clear this section off first. It's a question of do I bother with... Uh... Yeah, we've used all of yours. So there are a couple over here we could deal with, but I'd rather clear this section up first. I'm trying to debate where I can get the best use out of my stuff. That there, maybe? Or is it better just to step through him? Probably best to step through him. Again, we've still got spiky block as an option, and I want her to end up back over there. So, something like that. Took a little bit of health damage. Doesn't really matter. She's got leech. She's going to be back at full health in no time. Which means you two... Let's at least have you clear down there, because that's going to be a problem later on if I ignore it. This is why I use the undodgeable stuff first most of the time. <laughs> Even though it's technically less efficient. Alright, uh, so there's everything dead down there. Pop that on... Who's got buffs? Probably you. Just being unblockable and momentum just that was going to be the highest target single damage we had. Fortunately, all these misses mean we're probably going to have to use a fireball, which I didn't want to use, but... It's only two mana, I guess. It's not the biggest of deals. Oh yeah, there's a wall there. We get there and go around it. I think we've killed this guy. We can get a fireball there. Good enough. Um, two does more damage. They're about the same. More likely to kill this guy. Okay. Good enough. Um, probably every everyone positioned in like the midpoints where we can, just to make it easy. Not a huge amount for this guy to do. It's probably that and head... Uh, that's inside a bomb. Head there. We can just keep doing this to get him back into a decent position. I want him here, basically. We do have a couple of guys hanging out here, and this lot should die to Ballista. One of them will probably die to a Ballista. Like, it's not a huge deal, but... It does just make a slight difference. Pop that to get health. <laughs> it is health instead of armor. I know it looks weird. It confuses me half the time as well. Right. Bunch of action points, but patience is a thing. Those bombs don't do the most. They're a little annoying. Oh, there's two there by that wall. I can't see them because of the bombs, which is annoying. Blisters do their things. He doesn't care. We 
Okay, so this is going to be the second huge rush. So this will be where other elites come in. That's part of the wall down, which is annoying because we're going to have to rebuild that. But it was only a wooden wall. And we haven't taken huge amounts of damage yet. So it's not the end of the world. Just looking at this, trying to figure out. Huge wave there. Any elite sneaking in is the priority. Don't think there are any. Okay. So, let's get you working your way through the buffed up super minions now. Do you need to get a lightning bolt back here? Probably should pop this already, but a bit late for that. Slightly annoying, because the way she looks, it's difficult to tell there's minions there. That's what confused me, but it's not the end of the world, because they can be cleaned up relatively efficiently. You've got spend mana get action points, right? Okay. And then... Can we drop maybe that bat guy? That is so annoying. Because that is... Going to mess things up for getting that set up. Although I guess that there is not terrible. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, I was looking for a lightning, but it wouldn't get the flexibility boost, so there was no point doing it. Or there was less point doing it. It's not entirely worthless, but it is annoying. All right, there aren't any hidden behind here, are there? Okay. Now I'm going to have to add that to list of things to check at the end of the turn, because, you know, <laughs> it's always fun. Um, double daggers, spears, there's so many options here. Where do we think this because we do have one more set of these i think that there actually makes the most sense yeah like that and then we can maybe go i don't think we can get around there is the problem because that'd be a great place to do this but i guess going here and doing that is worth it. we aren't so worried about spending the health on him it's it any health the tanks spend is coming back. The tanks get to spam their abilities so much, which is why the whole blood magic thing goes nuts when you have leech with it. Especially with health stacking, but... Okay. So let's... If we step there, we can drop all this lot. Who's the toughest? One of you two, probably. That's just to make sure all the poison goes in and they're all dead. All right, now you head back over here and he'll have to deal with this in a minute. Next biggest threat is up here. So. Start dropping them, or at least slowing them down is probably step one. You're going to come flying in. I want him to take out this section. So he has to, this guy has to slow down this section right now. Don't think it particularly matters who. I don't think we're going to get a better spot than, say, there. Most worried about people coming up the middle. People hitting the stone walls. Don't really care. They're barely going to matter in the end. We can hop the wall and just remove the guys right next to it. Because they're going to do the most damage. And then... Probably try drop that thing. We are going a bit heavy on the mana spend here, which is a little worrying, but uh, that, it, it's not worth worrying about it so much that you then screw it up because you fought too much. Okay. So, you... Jump on that guy. Run. Do I run up to there or do I run in here? I think I have to clear this up eventually, so I'm going to send him here and do at least something. Her. I also get hims and hers in this. Uh, stab, step, step. Jump. Swing. Okay. Good enough. 
back you block will do quite a lot there as well. That clears up a lot of the pressure on that side. This side's a little under pressure. This bit, I mean, it's mostly going to solve itself. It's not... Like the, the first wave is always the most dangerous. If you haven't cleared that up by the time the second wave shows up, you're in trouble. But at the moment, you can kind of see it's it's kind of mostly dealt with at this point. I mean, step there. Maybe think about lightning. Kind of want to save the mana. Maybe consider a lightning when we get thrifty. See who's alive when we get there. With it bouncing diagonally, it's not the biggest deal that we leave, like, a guy open. Drop it there. Zap, 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 zap. Yeah, that. It's good enough. I'm not going to risk taking excess wall damage just by trying to be picky. So you stay there. You can hold this corner. You, we've done you. This guy should clean up most of... Debating trying to move this guy next turn. Maybe here. You're safe there. We'll move you one step further back just to be extra sure. Where are the bombs? There, there, there. Yeah, just keeping track of them all. So we don't forget any this time. None of them move, thankfully, at the moment. God, not looking forward to when that starts happening again. Um. Yeah, you are a problem. That's why you're a problem. Yep, should have just done the basic. I always just try and do it where it's just, aha, I'm going to blow your head off. And it's like, no, just use the undodgeable attack. That's actually just straight up better. Don't want to use this on the runners. Most likely to miss. That being said, this is always going to miss as well. Guarantee if I'd use the hip shot, then it doesn't, it doesn't miss at all. Just sod law and all that. Okay. What are you doing? Buff. Okay, so there's lots coming in here. Got to check for elites again, but honestly, doesn't look too bad right now. There's an elite. Like, the tanks are still at the point they don't care. Poison, yes, would do things, but it's not... Again, it's not like poison would massively make a huge difference. You're probably better off on this map just investing into damage tanks, not poison tanks. We are over panic level one, but it's a boss night. I'll be honest, I'm not that bothered by that. Can we hit this anyway? Good. Like, I love the range on this when you have it on a rifle build, but it is awkward as hell all the rest of the time. Gotta slowly work our way through all the armor she gave them, which is annoying, but it is what it is. But we're certainly still doing better than we did the previous attempt on this. Because the previous attempt on this, we were multiple walls down at this point. Like, we were blowing bombs up as acceptable losses, if I remember correctly. Let's try to get Thrifty back. But I don't think we can do Thrifty and... Yeah, we wouldn't be able to do Thrifty and Lightning Bolt this turn. But... That's not the biggest of deals, I guess. We can save Lightning Bolt for next turn if we need it. Priority probably at the moment is still just... Where's that bomb explosive? There. Weakening the front wave so they don't get through the wall in too many places. Just do that to weaken that whole blob. With it going diagonally now, it should be fine. Okay you. I really need you to clear this whole side up so you can, everyone else can go other places. Stab and stab and stab. Throw that knife there. Okay, that's that side dealt with. Go through this guy. Knife. Knife. Good enough. 
plonk him there. He'll head over and deal with that in a minute. Over here. Do we have good spots for axe? This is the slight problem. Is that you always end up cutting into where you want to axe to get into the places you want to axe. <laughs> like, it just makes it slightly less effective. Because I'd love to axe there right now. Although I guess just doing regular is fine. Like, it, it's not too much of a damage difference. Maybe there or there. Actually, cutting through that guy is going to be fine. Can we have you do that? Good enough. Now you need to head here and clear this side. Want to drop you. Then do that on you. Didn't kill it, but left it low enough. It wasn't going to be a problem. Then head there, then do this. Just clears up a lot of the issue. Choppy. Choppy. What do we end up? I'd love to have ended up over there, but I guess we're ending up here at the moment. Not for poison, but just for block reasons. Good enough, I think. Cleared up a lot of that side anyway. Here. Yes, that's a fireball waiting to go. Although we do have this option. Okay, that there. Getting on a start trying to save mana now. Not probably going to manage it very well. Do have this guy to worry about. But with a tier 5 book, we're probably fine. So that's a bomb. Currently, that blows up. That wall. That's it. That's almost worth detonating. Maybe next turn. We'll see if it's still there next turn and we'll detonate it then. Do need to plug the gap, however, at the moment. Like, as much as the bomb... Leaving stuff here would help the bomb, but losing more walls is not worth it. I mean, this wall's not so bad, I guess. So he's probably going to hit that. So we'll you know, ignore him. Clear up this section. Annoying that didn't kill it, but that is the most annoying thing there, so that has to die. Good enough. Yeah, I'll leave him there. Okay, everyone out of bomb radiuses, everyone good. I think we're good. Right. Another bomb there, another bomb there. Don't think either of them matter that much. Is that her teleporting? Her teleporting's good because that means she doesn't buff anyone, which is what we need this point. Okay, that bomb spawning another bomb is problematic. <laughs> Like, she's having a whale of a time. Like, she's actually just going to murder everyone. But that section of the wall's cracking. Bombs start disappearing. I mean... How much does that blow up? That wall's going to blow up because of that bomb. So this bomb takes out those two walls. That's not so worth it. But the pair of them combined basically clear that entire front. And that front is going to do a lot of damage by itself if I don't do something. Just trying to see if there's a way I can do it where it's better. I think we can get away with something like... Which does more damage? This has got to do more damage. 250. That does armor piercing, though. Which one's got flexibility at the moment? That's the one that's actually going to matter. Good enough. Then we've got to drop all of these. Obviously still have the big guy at the back, but 
leaving him for a turn. Let's see what we can do next turn against him. Good enough. Okay, you. Getting him over there is going to be problematic. I mean, you can get there, but... It's not ideal. It's like that, and then... That. But then he's stuck there. Uh, just debating if there's a place I can do this and be safe, but I don't think there is. I can get him out of that corner, but it's awkward as hell. Dash, dash, stab, stab. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's the only way to end up outside that bomb radius, and that bomb's going to do a lot to the wall if I let it go off, so, yeah, okay. Can you deal with him? I mean... Can't go this way around, so we have to step this way anyway. Drop that guy. Smack that guy a bit. This might take multiple rounds. Good enough. That dice to a blister, I'm not going to prioritize that right now. Priority has to be killing these. Okay. That at least to solve most of the issue. This guy's still going to be an issue, but those two between them should be able to kill it. You are in a lot of pickles as to how to deal with this. Burn for all your mana reserves, so I don't really want to use mana that much. I guess we have you on the outside, though. You can just enter the middle and go nuts. Yeah, this, this, this should work. Let's try it this way. That hits a wall. Which is annoying. So I guess we have to do it this way. Dagger goes nuts. Strange that didn't do poison. I guess because it only hit armor. Are they immune? Oh, they're immune. Of course they're of course they're immune. Why wouldn't they be immune? Okay. Do have this still. It's debating if there's any good bot spots to put it. To help out. Uh, okay, it's a bit of a waste, but it at least kills stuff. Poison there should do a lot. So that means you're free to help out here. That is getting lightning bolted. Yeah. Didn't do a huge amount of damage, but it did enough. We can drop this guy and drop that guy. Well, I mean, he's weakened, so he's not the biggest of threats. Don't want this wall breaking here. That was the only one that could have dropped it, so yeah, it's fine. Okay, leaves this section. Do need that guy to die, because he's buffed. Could run about a bit, try to get momentum stack going, but for the moment, let's... let's focus on just dropping them all one by one. Do have this, but stepping outside the walls will probably trigger a bomb at this point, so it's not worth it. Yeah, okay. Right. Bombs out of range there, you're out of bombs, you're out of bombs. Okay, right. Nearly there. Last little bit. 
This elite down here is the only real issue. And we do have three bombs that could potentially detonate on him. Lucky that didn't hit him. Oh, never mind. We've got more. Always that last little bit on the end of the wave that can just catch you off guard. Yeah, another crack in the wall. And there as well. But majority of the stone walls have stayed up. In fact, I think all the stone walls have stayed up, which is good, because they're gonna be hard they would be harder to replace. But do still have this last bit to navigate. So you get in there and go nuts. <laughs> Doesn't really matter about the rest of it for the moment. This bulky needs to die now. Like that. Okay. Here. Through you. And then spiky block will do the rest of that. Nothing dangerous up there or there. Again, it's all on this guy. I'm okay burning a bit to try and get him dead early. So we're not on that. This, how much resistance do you have? Like, you have a bit, but we can't debuff you. Depending whether this is worth it. I don't think it is. But you do have a lot of resist. Or a lot of armor, should I say. Like, what's his thing? Like, 200 armor? Yeah, he's going to be tough to break. Okay, he's low enough that the rest should be able to get him. Let's just wear down this other one as well. I'm going to have to deal with the wave behind them later, but... For the moment, this is the priority. One down. Two down. Drop that guy because he's buffed. Or as best we can drop him. Bomb radius is not on the square, so we could step on it and do that. That just prevents damage for this turn. It doesn't solve the issue, but it helps. And I think the only relevant thing for you to do is then try to drop one of these. That guy. Never mind. Okay. You. I mean, you're doing fine enough. Just clear those guys. I can clear this edge. Don't really see the point of sending him after him. I'd rather him end up in here. Uh, I don't think we have a way of getting him... I'd want him there to do that. But I'd rather not... I mean, I guess this works. Poison will do its job, if nothing else. And then it's a case of is... Yeah, I think this is worth burning one action point to get into a better position to do that. It just clears up more. And then Poison will do its work there. This side's still going to be dangerous, but the only one actually going to get to the wall is this thing. Again, I'm not that bothered if they kill this blister. I probably shouldn't have turned it into a mounted one, but it's in a bad position anyway. It's not the worst thing if it goes down. You clear the damn wall on this side. Uh, like, I could do this. It's not the worst option. We're probably using an AoE... Um, an AoE health regen in a minute. So, it's not the biggest of deals. I think I can get him to go outside for the moment to do that. Because that hits everyone who's going to be near the wall. And then he can vision that because he's got the ability to do that. Balanced, I know, but... Okay. Couldn't get everything, but we got the majority of the problem over here dealt with. So this side, after this guy's had a go, should be under control. Do need a little help over here. This side's looking a little problematic. This side's dealt with. This side's not a problem. 
Just the amount of mana we're spending is the only thing that's really concerning me, but I guess I'm going to have to invest into more mana uh, shrines. It's not the biggest of deals. So we've got the majority of the upgrades done, so it's probably reasonable just to start that now. So many ways this could go that I kind of am forced to do this first. And then do that. Just to make it make sure it hit more. Okay, so that side's dealt with. I'll have this guy running this way just to be ready to help out over here in a minute. This side is under control between the pair of them, but it's going to take a little bit. And this side, as we've said, is pretty much dead. It depends what else is coming on. There's still a little bit more, it looks like. Yeah, that side's going to need help now as well. Tanks don't give one about all the stuff they're facing, so. Yeah, they basically destroyed that part of the wall. Which is annoying. It is annoying, but I think I can work with it. Okay, maybe want to start shooting from there. It's a little hard to get into the spot to hit all this lot and help out, but this lot have so much block now, it's minorly absurd. Like, this is hardly going to do any actual damage. I don't actually think it's worth a lightning. I mean, they're immune, so I don't know why I did that, but hey. Sometimes it's worth a try. Slow them down a bit try drop their block, but it's not going to make a huge difference. Kind of need you to end up over there and tank it. Swing. Uh, before we step forward, actually. Stab. Step through. Step through. Kill this guy on the way through just because... And then it's how much do I feel like going in there? Could stand there, that's fine. Like, he does enough damage to actually get through the block efficiently. Uh, she doesn't. Like, he, I mean, she... I keep messing up the he's and she's, but you know what I mean. Can burn that hell, because we're going to get back anyway, just to slow down this push. And get a ton of block, which is definitely just going to murder him. Okay, this side needs sorting. Good news is they've taken out enough of the walls that... I mean, that takes out two walls, but blows so many of them up in for one action point. That might actually be worth it. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason not to do it at this point, because it's going to be a struggle to do this without spending a bunch of mana now. So, this is going to suck, but... Bang. Oh, they don't detonate each other. That's fine, then, because that stops the wall detonation. So that actually worked out better than I thought it would. I was expecting a chain detonation. Which means we can just do this, and we're actually good. So yeah, that actually worked out better than I thought. Do-do-do-do-do. Nothing happened here. Nothing to talk about. Bang, bang. Just a little cornite uh, rifleman going on. A little hypocritical in terms, but hey, not going to complain about the amount of work he's doing. That thing needs to die. Okay, do I have this little issue to worry about? But I don't think I can get there to officially dealt, like, not officially, uh, effectively deal with it. 
pronunciation being what it is. Uh, drop. Drop. Okay, and then you've got this side to deal with, so let's... I'm pretty sure after we dealt with this, we're out of the danger zone, so... It's taken a little bit, but we have managed to get through with relatively intact walls. Like, we've had a couple of breaches, it's not been the worst of things. Could do this. Only reason that matters is because it builds up momentum that lets you do that, and then... That's the fun with pistols, you can do that sort of thing, but it's... Getting the range up is quite hard, which is why you often have to combine it with a rifle. Um, okay, this slot should just die. Uh, silly block. If I step there, can I get him? Yeah. So, something like that. Okay, that one's dead. Step through and stab that one. So they all die to poison. They all die. Pop that. Get there. Okay, that's this side entirely dealt with. Um, this side, he'll step forward and die to the blister. This side's holding, but only because he's there. I mean, the boss is going to hit him and stun, uh, hit her and stun her, but the spiky block should actually do quite a lot back. Um, and then it's just clear up this. Okay. The fact that it stunned its own guys there, that's probably more important. Again, we do have another bomb option here. It's not really worth it, I'd say. Another crack in the wall there, but whatever at this point. So that takes out one. I guess we'll see what's left afterwards. Let's get you in to help out on this side, and then we'll figure it out from there. One final one just to get into a proper position. Where's that bomb explosion there? Uh, I do want to start... Uh, how much health do you... You get a lot of health back. There's no reason not to spend your health. And then just try and get it back the other way. Okay. Nothing we can do with him now. So next it's you. Just work through everyone who can't, like, from this side to that side, everyone who's going to run out of targets. It doesn't really matter what I pick. It's just pick one off at a time, try not to spend mana, I guess. Uh, there's no bomb there, so you could step that way and do that. See, but there's no need to detonate. This is why I was figuring it out in this order. Can you step one more and get that guy? Yeah. Because that clears up all up to here. Try and drop that thing, but at least help out for when you get to it. You... You need to go over the wall to get all these guys, so... Start by doing that, I guess. That's dead. I'm gonna drop a proper shot into that because that's got quite a lot of health. Okay, so that's all of this done except him who... Uh, sure, why not? Then you... Can't do anything with her, but we can help her out from over the wall, I guess. They are still mega buffed, so this isn't gonna do too much. It's the problem. Work through the ones that managed to get past her, I guess. Again, just try not to spend any mana whatsoever. It's probably the most effective target. And then just debuff what we can debuff back there. 
Knowing that hit the tank, but it'll be, it's barely going to matter. Uh, you don't have anything to do, do you? Like, you could end up there, I guess. Maybe you're in target range for something with a rifle. Yeah, you're in range for a few things. And by a few things, I apparently mean a whole bunch of stuff that you can kill that the others couldn't, because rifles do a hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, good enough. And then I think we're fine, because it's just everything around her then. She should teleport this turn, but I don't know what her priority is. Yeah, okay. Interesting she got debuffed. I mean, Spike Block will do something, but with it being weakened from our own curse, it's not going to make a huge difference. Like, this is not going to do the job very effectively, but it will do the job eventually. Okay. That was a long night, but we did eventually get there. be quite a few levels. Uh, one on everybody. This guy's still lagging behind a bit, but she's overtaken most of them. But that's because we invested a bit into her experience. She is going to be required for that experience, though. Ideally want her level 10 by the final night, at least. So yeah. Didn't manage to keep it above level 1, but we did keep it above level 2. And that should be enough for the next level of Tainted Essence Reel. Couple of drops, they're going to make a huge difference. Especially, this is why getting it upgraded for this night's very important, because the elite drops will now be, hopefully, rank 5. But, that's where we'll leave it for today. So I will see you guys in the next one.